hello friends so in this video we are going to analyze the horoscope of Nora Fateh and she is a an actor dancer so she is very physical she is a Canadian actress actually she is from Canada but she acts in acts in Indian movies South movies also in Bollywood also and she is also doing item numbers so let us see let us do a short analysis of her horoscope through Nadi astrology so as you can see first house the first house there is Ketu now uh, first house will actually show the personality so Ketu means slim so she has a slim body even the shape of her face it's slim it's not round but you can see that the zodiac sign is Gemini and Lord of Gemini is Mercury so slim body is there but there will be problem in education because Mercury is education right so where is Mercury so Lord of Gemini is Mercury so where is Mercury Mercury is in 8th house with Sun and Saturn in Capricorn zodiac sign whose lord is Saturn so Saturn's position is good because it is in its own zodiac sign so what does that mean that means because Saturn is success Saturn is also hard work Saturn is also delay Saturn is also obstacles and struggle so there will be struggle there will be hard work all these things she will have to do but because Saturn is in strong position so she will also get success not easily but with hard work she will also Sun and Mercury is Buddha Ditya Yoga so there are yogs and always remember if somebody is successful somebody is uh, famous then there has to be some yoga so Buddha Aditya Yoga is there so famous she will because Sun is, is gives fame name and fame so she will become famous now if you see Jupiter it is in the third house of achievement mm -hmm. and Jupiter is basically an auspicious planet and Jupiter is aspecting moon so that is again another yoga that is Gaj Kesari yoga so you can see that this is these yogas will give success in whatever uh, whatever uh, field a person is these yogas are very good very strong yogas but Ketu is also expecting moon so there will be mental tension because Ketu will give tension yes Jupiter is expecting so Jupiter will try to reduce the tension but uh, in case of Ketu and Rahu no, you can just reduce the bad uh, uh, negative impacts but it will not completely go there will be tension also you can see that Saturn and Moon are in houses next to each other that is Sade Sati so that is also not good that will also give tension so this type of mental tension when Saturn is also involved what happens this can lead to addiction uh, so if there is depression or something like that that can go into addiction now you can see Venus Venus is what Venus is female person Venus is also beauty 
and venus plus rahu rahu, rahu increases everything expansion so increases beauty but venus rahu mars in 7000 is also inter religion and there will be problems in marriage of course mars is strong uh, mars is aspecting uh, your uh, 11000 11000 is of kin so after marriage there will be games profits but married life will have some friction and venus plus mars so she has energy and it is in sagittarius which a lot of which is again jupiter so that is a good thing and there is also an friendly zodiac sign for mars so mars will be strong here so she can do hard work because she has that much energy and she has to utilize that energy positively productively yeah. so but uh, because there is mars plus rahu there is also chances of accident and blood related issues so so she should remain away from equipment so even if she is doing exercise or exercise also if she is she is doing then she should stay away from heavy equipment because there are chances of accident even while driving and all that there should be extra precaution uh fifth house is of cinema okay and zodiac sign is libra lord is venus so that is also very good for dance because she is a dancer for feet are important which is represented by 12th house and you can see which zodiac sign is there it is taurus lord is venus so these are very good situations good positions for venus and these are all favorable combinations now jupiter is aspecting venus okay so jupiter is aspecting venus which is very good and jupiter is retro so it will go in the previous house from there it will aspect saturn so it is good for saturn so that is uh, that means that means that throughout her life she will be doing some work or the other now there is another thing uh, if venus is with rahu then uh, the in female chart the person uh, tends to become round that is fat not initially but later with age but she also has ketu in the first house and she all her also her mars is strong so that is why she will have to do exercise that is if she controls her diet and does exercise then she will not grow fat also very important as she grows old her interest will increase in occult sciences and spirituality so occult sciences can be lot of things mantra tantra meditation spirituality all these things come under occult so her interest will start increasing now what happens after that interest increases does she leave uh, acting or uh, and completely goes into that spirituality and occult uh, that can happen but even if she goes there it's not a bad thing okay she can even have success in that field also because she is going to do some work or the other throughout her life so friends this was a short analysis of nora fatehi horoscope and through nadi astrology and you can learn nadi astrology and you can also learn astro numerology 
the link is given below in description so thank you